All right, so it's, it's lunchtime right now. Finishing up, getting ready to teach two more classes on a Friday. Kids are back in school. Beginning my 18th year here. Hashtag 221 Science. So this is really for the kids. Reflect on your first two days. Some of you, it's only been a day, but. There's Nemo back there. Just to see what's going on, updates to the room. I like to do this every now and then. That's a superhero tank. All right, we got the great missing Tiny's desk. We have the old snail samurai set up here. They now went on to high school. Have some Beatles from our old Styro team. Had an issue with the shelf system. We had a fix when school started. So a lot of guppies got relocated. So our aquatic frog aquarium here. There's some videos on them, you'll probably see. Another snail samurai um, contraption here. Aquaponic system, another passive aquaponic system. Carlos Julia, not so baby Ethan. EOL wheel, no more homework here. That's Bird, that's Oliver, two rescues. Talked about them many times, this is a new system here. This is from Liana. Watch out, these birds are crazy. Uh, these are some, some bricks. Talk about them in a, in a later post. That's a work in progress right now. Got this from Lowe's. Hooked up a system here. Uh, first time I ever met a lungfish, I was in bio lab and college for organisms and evolution lab. So I always refer to uh, lungfish for like homologous structures and bio. Um, you know, and it's a uh, it's a great it's a great fish for a classroom. So this system's ready to go. We just got to get one. Not that easy to to get, but we're working on it. All right, we got to pick this one up later. Somebody's late to get the kids. All right, two more beautiful class periods done, and we're back. Friday afternoon. Kids left. Um, Hopefully you had a, a great two days. And we're back with um, an updated tour. Another aquaponic system. This is um, an active flow system. This is a pumped up. Uh, we have our Pleco, we have our Clown Loach. We had an issue with the cabinets. Um, so we recently had to move um, all the guppies and distribute them into the three triangle. We have a triangle of science here, 208, 210, and 221. And uh, the guppies went to all the different aquariums that we have in our science department. Here at 28, African catfish, same thing. Um, our Living Things from back in the day, we added that. It's a Fortnite game we played last year as a review. I didn't do a game this year. Um, there's our flags from all the different countries of the students. Giovanna, if you watch this, this is your canvas. Art by Geo. Kids of the past. All about connections. Take a look back here. Actually, let's get some food. A lot of storage back here, a lot of our equipment, some tanks, some aquariums, things like that. This is where we store all of our fish food. So no mice or any other insects find it. Pretty cool to watch the feedings. So here's our aquaponic gardens. Update on them. Fig tree's pretty cool. We actually have figs this year. They should be ready soon. Uh, white flies were always the problem in here. Luckily, we eliminated white flies, which took about a year. And now we have aphids in here. And they've been doing a damage. Um, I got three new goldfish in the beginning of school year from Casey. Most of them are common feeder goldfish. You would buy to feed a, a larger predatory fish. Others are like fancy tail goldfish and uh, a fish like a shabunkin, the type of goldfish. Pretty excited about this. So is Ethan. Have our first strawberry. And then we have some smaller strawberries developing here. You can see that. This whole area was filled with mint. Uh, Shiso was there and this was all mint, which was taken out by the aphids. Um, I had to eliminate that 
once school started, pulled all that out. Um, so check this out. So last year with Haley, we would have to change. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll take, keep it out there. I'll show. I'll show you in a couple of minutes. Uh, we had to change the whole system here because uh, in the past we would have to physically take out the um, drain the filter through a bin and then it was just a disgusting mess and so now we hooked up um, a drainage system into the pump itself. So, watch this. Whoa. So there are tilapia. You can see the largest tilapia is about yeah. probably about 14 inches. That's an Ethan. That's a Homo sapien. He also eats tilapia food sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put some more in there. Hold on, you can feed the next thing, okay? Look how big it is. Look how big. All right, let's have Ethan. We'll actually feed the next pool. Yeah. And then I'll continue with the tour. So we have um, some Caribbean thyme, uh, different species of kale. Yeah. Got some nice little pretty flowers. That's Freddie, hey, Aisha, Roger. Did. Oh yeah, I showed I showed them actually. So we have a new uh, crew of husbandry experts here this year. Oh, no, this but cool. but I these forget what that is. Big too. Tomato, big just too. the tomato takeover area. You want to eat a tomato, dude? Let's do the All right, hold on. No, Ethan, this isn't for your YouTube channel. This is a formal hey, look, classroom a, tour. A, a tomato right there. I know, I'm going to eat that, actually. Hey, put the food in here for, the, for everyone to see. Are you ready? Make that bag. So there's about 50 or so tilapia in there. All different sizes. They actually reproduce independently in there. We don't take out the young. So it's a Friday, so I'll do this. I gotta do. So I'll do this quite a bit before I leave for the day. That's good. You can dump that in there. All right. So then we'll move over to the turtles. They were fed some kale and some basil. Yeah. They, so uh, they pretty much feed on this red basil quite a bit. That's growing okay. He's just gonna dump in some food for them. Ryan's now joining the mix here. Little challengers helping out their dad. There's 11 turtles in here. Largest being about 13 inches or so. We have two, a yellow belly that big, and also a red ear slider that big too. All right, hey, show me that picture real quick. So Miss and Tani asked Ethan to draw a picture of um, who is that? Ethan or Carlos? Ethan. That's baby Ethan. All right, let me continue with the uh, classroom I tour. Drew the turtles. Nice, I'll check it out. All right, leave that there, Ethan. Don't kick that over. Okay. All right. I'll go get it. All right, so we're going to continue the tour over here. Yeah, just fly out of the room. All right, sorry if I just made you dizzy. This is a uh, CO2 APT, still working as a high school, still working as a high school team. Um, this is still their work, so this is a, a classroom air filter and also um, a planter. Let me see. Right. That's a quality turtle right there, looking and, good. And that's when I make this. All right, good job. All right, so here we have, um, this is a, a Stax. This is our, our previous, many, many years ago, uh, national champion Lexus team, actually our first. Um, and we have one of our tilapias, so you can actually get a look at what they look like. Um, got a tilapia, we got a Chiara, little Giovanna, Josiah named the fish. Uh, this is a mosquito trap from the past. Our trap mosquitoes team came off of our comp mosquitoes team. Um, and I think we already did this, so I think we might have finished our video. All right, uh, check this out. So we'll be talking about this at a, um, a later time. All right, let's end with this. Oh, I already got emo, baby. All right, hope you enjoyed your first two days. Green heart.
ladybugs. Let's get it released. So we have some aphids on these plants, so I'm gonna periodically move these ladybugs to different areas of the greenhouse, and they're probably gonna be crawling all over me too, so. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I have to be careful when I'm stepping in here, because There is a, probably about 3,000 of them. And this pepper plant is infected right now with aphids, so hopefully the ladybugs will go do their job and do some, a lot of cleaning on here. So I've already taken out about 1,500 of them, so you might see them in the video here and there. Trying my best not to step on any. They're in there exploring already, so. Let me release the other 1500. See if you can spot anything in there. If I put a, about 100 in there. Alright, let me get the other 1500 out. All right, so got another fifteen hundred out. All right, so bought a ladybug house. Let's see if this guy likes it. See what that looks like in a couple of days. So, see if anyone is doing some work. So there's pretty much ladybugs everywhere. They're still coming out of container. They're probably very dehydrated, so you can see they're down there absorbing moisture. And the other one's over here. falling all over the place. Move that over. Alright, so this is a cool addition to the video that I didn't expect would happen today, but some good stuff and part of uh, hashtag 221 science. So like I said, these things are currently everywhere. So I gotta watch where I step. Alright. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and the 2019-2020 update. Signing off from the greenhouse. So this is from the classroom. Check it out. Someone's exploring the uh, support for the vertical aquaponic gardens. Probably in search of some food up there, so good stuff.